This is the Wizard News. The very thought of you. A military policy that allows service members to be reimbursed for travel if they or a family member have to go out of state for reproductive health care, including abortions, was used just 12 times from June to December in 2023. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin instituted the policy after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade in 2022 to ensure that troops who were assigned to states where abortions or other types of health care, such as IVF treatment, were no longer provided, could still access those services. The policy led Alabama Republican Senator Tommy Tuberville to hold up hundreds of military promotions for months in a failed attempt to get the Pentagon to rescind it. Tuberville ultimately withdrew all of his holds in December 2023. The travel policy was used by service members or their dependents. 12 times during that seven month period, at a cost of roughly $40,000. The money covered lodging, meals, and transportation for out of state travel to receive care. The Pentagon said it did not have data on the first five months of 2023. Because the services did not establish a way to track those uses when the policy was first implemented. It is not clear how many of the 12 trips were for abortions or other types of reproductive health care, such as IVF treatment. The Pentagon does not have a specific breakdown of what services were sought by the service members or their dependents due to medical privacy issues. Under federal law, Defense Department medical facilities can perform abortions only when the life of the pregnant person is at risk or in cases of rape or incest, and Those instances have been extremely rare. According to the department, there were 91 abortions performed in military medical facilities between 2016 and 2021. For months, many of the military officers directly affected by Tuberville's holds declined to speak out for fear. Any comments would be seen as political. As the pressures on their lives and the lives of the officers serving under them increased, they began to speak about how the uncertainty surrounding their next move was hurting them and their families, how some of their most talented junior officers were leaving the military because of the instability. And about how so many vacancies was putting enormous additional stress on an already overworked military community. U.S. Marine Corps Commandant General Eric Smith suffered a heart attack in October 2023, two days after he had talked about the stress of the holds at a military conference. Smith fully returned to his duties in 2024. Source: al.com, March 29, 2024.
Student Health Services invites the Northeastern Illinois University community to attend its Spring 2024 Health Fair from noon to 3.30 p.m. on Tuesday, April 9th, 2024 in Alumni Hall in the Student Union Building on the main campus, 5500 North St. Louis Avenue. The internal and external partners participating at this event will offer information and resources for mental health, community clinics, migraines, dating and domestic violence, sexual assault and stalking, food pantry, substance abuse, immunization review, and more. Hamdard and the Friendship Center will be available on site to assist with applications for health insurance and SNAP benefits. Health screenings and HIV testing will also be available on site. Please contact Student Health Services at 773-442-5800 or health-services at neiu.edu if you have any questions.